Another day, another hospital trip. Today is my last day going to the hospital. My favorite hat. Outfit. I just woke up. My appointment's at 11. It's 11.01. Should I wear a hat? Mm -hmm. Nice, they have a nice Mom and Dad. Wow. I'm at a cafe. I got my results back. I'll tell you later. But um, I just got a sandwich. Soy matcha. I'm excited. I look so bad today. Whatever. This is like the cafe at the hospital. <laughs> I'm not driving. That'd be illegal. For one, I don't have my license. I have my permit. Two, they put me to sleep. I had anesthesia, so that too. I'm not supposed to drive today. Anywho, I just finished. I got lunch. Oh my god. I should have got a small. That's really big. I feel like I really don't look good today, but it's okay. So yeah, I finished my exam today. Um, and I got my results back too. Long story short, I'm okay. Yay. Well, that's really good. Really sweet, but really good. Like, I, you remember how I said, like, I don't like sweet drinks? I think I can do, like, sweet matcha. Or, like, sweet chai. I just can't do sweet in my coffee. I got an avocado salmon sandwich. Bon appetit. Mm -mm -mm. Kind of full. I'm just happy all my exams are done now. I've done like a couple cameras now, right? Which is not something like I'm happy about, but I thought today was gonna be like the same thing because to be honest, the past two ones it wasn't like too bad or anything, but ah! today's camera was so bad. I thought I would be used to it, but it was so 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 bad because even though I had anesthesia and I was like kind of sleepy drowsy I was awake at some point towards the end I'm pretty sure it was towards the end but I was like gagging I was burping it was so bad and it felt so gross here like it was like ouchie I didn't come out of the room like longer than before so my mom came to get me because I was sleeping I passed out take off they gave me the wrong sandwich mm. mom and dad too We're going to Tokyo. It's 11.30. I'm actually going to Tokyo tonight at like 6. I actually don't know what time. I have to look at the train time. Um, my sister's coincidentally leaving today to go to Okinawa at 12. So I have 30 minutes to pack. See, I, I kind of know what I'm going to bring, but I just have to like pack it. So, here is my suitcase. I should probably take this like united thing off and this ribbon, huh? Okay, you gotta hurry. I'll take that off. So I'm going to Tokyo for a week exactly, because today's Tuesday. And is it Tuesday? Oh, yeah, it's Tuesday. And I'll be back on Tuesday. Well, first I was going to come back on Monday, but I decided to come back on Tuesday. Well, I'm going to Tokyo for two reasons. Well, actually, not two, more than two. The reason why there's like ribbons on them is because, like, you know, at the baggage claim at airports, it's kind of like. It's so easy to tell which suitcase is yours. So my mom used to always put ribbons on all of our suitcases. But I'm taking the bullet train, so I don't need that. Anyways, I'm going to Tokyo. Well, first of all, today I'm going to Tokyo because I have a job for the next two and a half days. Well, one full day. They want me to arrive at 11.30 p.m. right before midnight. And we're going to go on a van and then... I'm going for a modeling job, and then we're going to shoot during, and the first scene's going to be during the sunrise. So they told me to sleep in, like, the moving van. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but hopefully I don't get tired. But yeah, I'm going to have a modeling job for the first day and a half. Well, basically a full day tomorrow, and then half a day in the next day, and then I'm going to meet my friend. And then from there, it's just, um, actually one of my best friend's birthday celebrations this weekend, so... It's just all like coincidentally happened at the same time. So I'm just gonna stay, celebrate her birthday and all, and meet up with like a couple friends. 
and coincidentally like so many of my high school friends are gonna be there so like we have dinner with like nine girls i think at one point um, um so that'll be super exciting i've picked out clothes for all the occasions so first of all i'm bringing this like lounge set i'm gonna use a black backpack today and then i'm gonna bring this and this this i got for 15 dollars at h&m i usually don't shop at h&m but when i saw this i was like oh this is cute i want to bring a pair of jeans Ooh. you know my sister like she used to like wash her jeans inside out so i started copying her and i wash my jeans inside out now and together with the skinny jeans i wanted to wear this it's like a bodysuit but like a see-through bodysuit I thought it's cute. I think it's like getting warmer. It's gonna be like 20 degrees Celsius in Tokyo. On top of that, like if it's cold, I'll wear a jacket too, but I have like this tiny, tiny thing. Kind of like, like a crop. This is for a seven and eight year old. Oh my God, it's Mary Kate and Ashley. I did not know that, but it still fits me. So probably supposed to fit like differently, but I like the way it fits. It's like the little like jacket. The other day I bought this um, blouse. I've always wanted one of these and I got it. So I'm gonna bring this. And together with this, I want to wear this skirt. I bought this at Zara the other day. I did like a TikTok get ready with me and then I showed it, but it's just like a mini skirt. And this thing, it's like a bow that ties in the front. So it's super cute. I love it. I think I'll wear this skirt twice in Tokyo probably and then the other one I'm gonna wear this this is like my mom's it's already folded I don't open it but it's like a see-through mesh top so I think it would work for both these are like black suit pants they, I bought them at Uniqlo like when I was in high school and I really love them you know like the tank tops that are super popular now where like there's like a string that you tie around your waist so it's like that and that with that was super cute with this jacket it's like a crop top jeans jacket i thought it was really cute and then i'm gonna bring this scarf as a hairband i can wear it as a belt but i'll probably wear it as a hairband and then speaking of hairband i'm gonna bring this one too this one i got in cool bit at like a vintage store that's yeah, super cute so i'm gonna bring that and that my pink bra these are like shorts to wear under your skirt so i'm gonna go out like out for a night out and I ordered this like white dress from Princess Polly, but it never arrived. So my sister said I can borrow hers. This is also Princess Polly. But I don't know. I'm going to like when I get to Tokyo, I have a day, a, a full, I have a full day before the night we go out. So I'm going to go check like Bershka or H&M or something maybe. If I see something, I might get it. If not, I hop on with this ruffled dress I also want to wear like for my friend's birthday. We're going to do like a picnic. So I think it's perfect. And then I, I need my jeans jacket. Together with that white dress, I think I want to wear the jeans jacket together with the, the denim Dior hairband. These are white boots. I got these for the birthday celebration. This is like a sash. And we're all going to wear matching LED glasses. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta go, I gotta go. Amazon packages. So I ordered these for my friend's birthday. I ordered, I accidentally ordered it to my house in Nagano. So yesterday the like delivery service called me and they're like where which house are you at? Because around that neighborhood like they know my brother and stuff. I was like actually I made a mistake. Could you change the address to Kobe? And Nagano and Kobe is like seven hours away, right? But they were like yeah we can. And I was like oh my gosh I'm so lucky. I didn't know like that was a thing that you could like change the address. Because I was gonna ask my brother to go get this and then re-deliver it to me like resend it to me. Cool. Oh my god, I bought 10, 10 glasses. I got a sash. That's kind of cute. I didn't even realize I ordered most of these things. Oh, you gotta take out the string. Okay, I don't want to break it, and so I'm not going to take it out. Like, they glow up. They have, like, a light switch, and then they, like, they, like, LED light. And there's ten of them. I'll probably upload pictures, though, so check out the gram. This is for the cake or something. I got a badge. This is going to be fun. 
This is actually a cute tiara too. Like Selena was like, I don't want to wear anything like too crazy, but I feel like this is good. Plus she's wearing an orange dress. This is like cute too, birthday girl. I have an hour and a half before I have to go. Oh. <coughs> Boo, come on. I do a bit of like freelance online work as well, other than like my social media. Um, so I gotta finish that before I go. So I'm gonna do that now, and then while that's going, I'm like doing my hair, I'm like multitasking. I just got out of the shower. And I'm not gonna do makeup because I need to pretty much do like an all-nighter tonight. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I'm just, I don't want my hair to be boof. I'm gonna ride the bullet train from now. I get to Tokyo around 11 p.m. And then I have to meet the photographers and stuff at 11.30. And then we start shooting at like 4 or f no, like 5 in the morning tomorrow. So I can't take a shower like until tomorrow night. So that's why I just took one. And then I have to go in like 30 minutes. I can't wait to eat on the bullet train. I haven't decided what I'm going to get for dinner yet, but something. I'll get something at the station in Osaka. 